But we're here in Las Vegas today talking to Chef Claude. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. This has been the finest dining experience I've ever had. Congratulations. I don't say that to everybody, trust me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I take the compliment. Thank you. You have got it just right. You've got the most incredible service, which is most important because if that's wrong, your restaurant is never going to succeed. Second to that, you've got the most phenomenal food. And then you've got an ambiance which is just unique. Mm -hmm. You've really got it all right here. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, true. Like we we were talking uh, in a dining room like a few minutes ago, when you open the door of a restaurant, you feel like you you arrive in Paris. So that's that's something you know. It's part also of uh, it's beginning of uh, the experience. You know, open the door, feel like you are in Paris. The rest is uh, on uh, on the table. I think we all know that the French have got class, and Las Vegas isn't necessarily known for its class. It must have been an interesting decision for Joel Robichon to bring his restaurant here, because would it work? Would people pay a lot of money for great food? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true, but the, the, all the, we have guests coming from everywhere. You know, it's a very cosmopolitan uh, uh, city, so we have guests from, uh, of course, uh, Asia. Uh, who uh, Mr. Robichon uh, is very famous also. Uh, and um, American people travel a lot, so um, they know, they, they don't open the door uh, by mistake. They know where, where, where they arrive when they open the door to, to the restaurant. It's interesting where you're located as well. We're in the MGM Grand, which is probably the most famous casino in the entire world, let's face it. And you're next door to a production called Car, which in my opinion is, once again, probably within the two best shows in the world ever, that and O, are just completely unique beyond any scale. And it really made me think about your food in the same way as Car is so theatrical. This is a production, isn't it? The way I'm treated, the things I see, the fact that you have 400 different types of bread for a beginning <laughs> Is, I mean, it is theater, isn't it? It's true, you know, it's a good comparison. And I, and I, did, and I did always, I did uh, often this, comp this comparison, you know. When we open the restaurant here every night, it's like Cirque du Soleil. We, we open with a full staff. It can, it can, we can we can missing one, one, one cook because, you know, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, uh, an experience. And to, uh, to, uh, for a success, for, uh, we have to have a full team like a, like a Cirque du Soleil. We have exactly the same, same good example. It's interesting how your staff are almost ballerinas the way they dance around each other. They know exactly what they're doing. Is that the key to success with a restaurant, that you have to make sure your staff know what they're there to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the service uh, is part also, of, of course, of, uh, of the success of your, uh, your experience. And then, uh, for me, a, a great service, you, do, you, don't, you have to, um, you know, to be very uh, transparent. You know, you don't, we don't see you. We don't, you don't feel that you have somebody behind you. Usually the restaurants in Las Vegas are very big, big capacity, so of course very noisy. This one we have uh, only maybe, uh, I think 60, 65 seats at the same time. So you, it's, it's very uh, comfortable and not noisy. And, and uh, people uh, like, like, this, uh, like this a lot, yes. I've interviewed many of Joel Robichon's chefs in the past, and the question I always ask is, how do you find people who care as much as you do? Because you're brought in here to make sure Mr. Robichon's standards are kept. How do you make sure that your people care as much as you do? Um, of course, we, uh, we, we, we choose the, the people, the, the cook who want to work here, but you know, uh, they don't come here by mistake. They know where, where they're going to work and for who they're going to work. And then the, 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 all the success that they can have after, of course, for uh, uh, their career. You do reward your punters, your guests, with an experience that is totally unique. Is that Mr. Robichon's key to success, the fact that he gives back what he charges? Yes, and then uh, um, also, what, what, which is good with this restaurant, it's you can come. You don't have to spend a lot of money to be uh, to dine in uh, and, and Joel Robuchon restaurant. You can start with a one course uh, a menu, which is uh, is hundred and hundred and nine dollars. Sorry, and then you can have a full experience with uh, a menu which is uh, three hundred and eighty five uh, dollars. So. Um, it's it's good. You get you get the choice. Spend money or don't spend money. But you know this is why we have the restaurant every uh, full pack every night. You're yeah. still here, and as you say, there wasn't a spare table tonight. It's a silly question in light of what I've just said. But how have you been affected by the economy? Uh, it was. It, uh, I, I would say two years ago was difficult when we, when we started. Um, uh, when the bad things started, it was it, it was difficult. You know. 
And then, uh, like I said, we adjust our uh, our um, menu. We have a, s a small menu, a big menu. So now it's, it's getting back uh, like it used to be in a two years uh, two years ago, which is great. Is there any greater sense of pride than knowing he's trusted you to take on his name? Yes, it's true. You, you have to tr you have to choose the right person to, to do uh, what he want. That's uh, that's part of uh, that's a part of a success. Yeah. It's interesting how he works. It's very clean, mm -hmm. and it's very quiet, and it's very organised. That seems to be the impression I've got from all of his kitchens. We have to when you when you want to, uh, when you expect the expect uh, uh, a result like uh, like like we want, you have to be very organised, very clean. This is the key of a success. You're an artist, aren't you, really, more than a cook? It seems to me, when I look at the food that you present, it's so fine, it's so cleverly put together. You, you have to be almost like a painter the way you put your meals together. And unless you see the food, I think it's hard to describe how precise they are. Yes, it's true. Uh, when we do the 16 course menu, when we change the 16 course menu, uh, like you have tonight, uh, we try to, to do very uh, different for each plate, you know, uh, with uh, a presentation, uh, the flavor, the texture, uh, it's, you know, it's not boring. You have 16 course, but 16 course very different. That's, that's make, you know, uh, more exciting for your experience eating, for eating this, this menu. I don't know of another restaurant that creates such a reaction in people because you tell me you're going to present me with foie gras, but it doesn't look like foie gras. You tell me you're going to give me soup, but it's nothing like a soup. It's so smart, the things you do. On the average dish, how long does it take to create something like that? Um, we start working uh, in the morning um, around maybe 11, 11, 10, 30, 11 in the morning. And then we we prep everything. And during the service, we just have, uh, we just have to... Uh, to, to uh, uh, put together uh, all the ingredients and cook very fast, you know. And then uh, the most of our, uh, of our mise en place, uh, uh, did, uh, we did this on, on, a mo on a morning, yes. Service is more, you know, la uh, just put together everything. What always amazes me about people like you, Claude, is your dedication to it. This isn't showbiz, is it? This is you working really hard every day, having to come in and slog away to present me with a meal that's going to take two or three hours. Yes, we work with passion, so we, we, we forget about the time. <laughs> but it would be easy, wouldn't it, like so many do, just to put your name above the door and not turn up. I think that's why Mr. Robichon's restaurant seems to be working when so many are closing. Gordon Ramsay's fallen foul of this, where his name hasn't gone far enough because he's turned it out, I think, 30 restaurants in the last few years, and it's just not good enough. You've got to put it on the plate if you're going to charge good money for food. Yes, yes, it's true, yeah. And then... Um this is why this is why uh, uh, Mr. Abishon come here three times, four times per year, and then uh, he's also uh, uh, he care about a, a lot about what we put on the plate, and then yeah, he need he have to approve everything. Even now at this level, how critical is he of what you put out on the plate? It's it's uh, it's very precise, you know. When he give you uh, um, uh, a critic on on a dish. Uh, you says, "Wow, I, I think about everything, but w not not what he says." And then uh, that's it's very uh, great for us to have him uh, uh, be part of a creation of it, uh, uh, of all the dish and menu. Las Vegas couldn't be further apart from Paris, let's face it, in terms of its culture, in terms of its clientele, and in terms of its food. Let's face it, I believe the best food comes out of Paris. It always has, and I think it always will. You just seem to know how to cook. <clears throat> um, are you okay being here? Because are expectations as high, do you think, here as they are in Paris? Yes, you know, you know like I said uh, in the beginning, uh, Las Vegas, uh, people don't come here only for the, for, the, for the gambling. They come to see the show because it's a city this you can find the best show in the world, I'm sure. And it started to be a city also for the gastronomy. You have here in Las Vegas, uh, Joël Robuchon, Guy Savoie, Alain Ducasse, uh, Pierre Gagnier, all the great chefs, all the almost the best chef in, in the world uh, are here in Las Vegas. And it's became a, a, a great city for a, for a for the food now. Congratulations on this restaurant. I just loved it. And as far as I'm concerned, to date, I haven't been in every restaurant in the world, so I can't say it's the best restaurant in the world. But for me, it's my favorite. It was just a unique and wonderful experience. And to sample your food with your staff, taking so much care, not just for me, but everybody around, because I don't go by my reaction. I know I'm going to be treated better than most people. But everybody that walks through your door is made to feel special. That's completely intentional, isn't it? Yes, but you know what is... 
we try to um, to treat all the people the same way the same way you know uh, what i say is often to the to the chef who work with me in the kitchen if you're going to be able to do better one guest than another one is mean that you don't do your job always correctly so all the guests need to be treated the same the same way what a wonderful way of looking at it. Thank you so much for talking to me. Jean Robichon's here at the MGM Grand. What a tremendous restaurant. And uh, Claude, uh, thank you so much for sparing the time to talk to me because I've taken you out of a service, which is very busy tonight here in Las Vegas. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you so much. And it was, uh, 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 it was good to see you here at the restaurant. Thank you so much.